before us is basically how the researchers detailed, or I should say how they postulated their hypothesis in reference to formulating this very simple spice blend with commonly available spices in reducing inflammation. And you'll hear key terms like cytokines and interleukins, which are basically very popular terms these days in reference to core current events. But to proceed as follows. Keep in mind too, the inflammation that we're referencing, as you look over the look at this right here is postprandial, which is a fancy word uh, way of saying after a meal, uh, af inflammation after a meal or inflammation brought on by a meal. In this case, the spices help reduce that inflammation postprandial. All right, but let us proceed into the research as follows. Adding a blend of spices to a meal may help lower inflammation. In a randomized controlled feeding study, the researchers found that when participants ate a meal high in fat and carbohydrates with 6 grams of a spice blend added, the participants had lower inflammation markers compared to when they ate a meal with less or no spices. By the way, for the biostatisticians out there, this study had a power of 80, which is always kind of cool when they note that in the study. It shows uh, us that basically the researchers are statistically inclined. The researchers used a blend of basil, bay leaf, black pepper, cinnamon, coriander, cumin, ginger, oregano, parsley, red pepper, rosemary, thyme, and turmeric for the study. I am going to time stamp, there's a formula that comes up, or I should say the proportions or ratios, however you want to do it, uh, of this particular spice blend. It was basically a spice blend that was carried over on a couple of different foods in the same meal. And I'll time stamp that so you don't have to watch this video to find it again and you can just go straight to the formula itself. But to proceed, recently published in the Journal of Nutrition. In random order, each participant ate three versions of a meal high in saturated fat and carbohydrates on three separate days, one with no spices, one with two grams of the spice blend, and one with six grams of the spice blend. The researchers drew blood samples before and then after each meal hourly, postprandial, for four hours to measure inflammatory markers. Quote, Additionally, we cultured the white blood cells and stimulated them to get the cells to respond to an inflammatory stimulus, similar, similar to what would happen when your body is fighting an infection. We think that's important because it's representative of what would happen in the body. Cells would encounter pathogen and produce inflammatory cytokines. Quote, after analyzing the data, the research found that inflammatory cytokines were reduced following the meal, postprandial, containing six grams of spices compared to the meal containing two grams of spices or no spices. Rogers said, six grams roughly translates between one teaspoon to one tablespoon, depending on how the spices are dehydrated. All right, now what we're gonna do is we'll look at the formula right here. All right, so basically what you're noticing, for example, ignore the two gram aspect, just look at the six gram you'll see that the spices are added to one certain food and then another food, whether it be basically a cinnamon muffin or the chicken itself, and you add it across and then down the column to get you a total of six. They didn't add all the spices particularly to one food, but split it up in between this individual or I should say single meal. And of course, on the other column on the far side is your list of all the spices utilized to basically compose this wonderful, wonderful blend in reference to this particular research itself. But to proceed as follows. Basically, you know, they'll notice a couple of terms, and one is gonna be HFCM, which stands for high saturated fat, high carbohydrate meal, and of course, postprandial, as we discussed, is af after the meal. In summary, we demonstrated that the presence of six gram six gram spice blend in a high saturated fat, high carbohydrate meal, significantly reduced postprandial interleukin one beta, interleukin six and interleukin eight secretion from basically lipopolysaccharide stimulated peripheral blood mononuclear uh, cells in men with overweight obesity at risk of cardiovascular disease, suggesting a potential anti-inflammatory effect of spices. These findings are the first to our knowledge, quoting, to demonstrate that the consumption of an HFCM containing a spice blend, basically as you saw the meal that they had, the spices added to, 
could modulate postprandial cytokine secretion from cultured, basically, PBMC, peripheral blood mon mononuclear cells, suggesting the incorporation of spices into daily diet may help reduce postprandial inflammation and concurrently attenuate chronic low-grade inflammation. So what a cool, simple way basically to spice up your meal and help at the same time reduce potentially a lot of the inflammatory markers which could contribute to a myriad of other not so great health conditions themselves. In addition to basically reducing a lot of markers which also have a major impact on the immune system as well and I'm tempted not to add any publisher bias to that. Again, it'll be listed, the UI citation will be linked straight to the full study itself so you can explore it on your own. Gratitude, thank you for listening. I look forward to seeing you all once again next week. And bon appetit. Catch you all next time. Bye.